So knee arthroplasty is just a, uh, another way of saying knee replacement. Arthroplasty means making a joint. Knee replacement comes in all shapes and sizes. Uh, knee replacement can be replacing all three compartments of the knee, replacing two compartments of the knee, or even one compartment, which is partial knee replacement. The most common reason is degenerative arthritis. There's multiple factors that can lead into degenerative arthritis. Patients can have a family history of it. Patients can have a pre-existing injury, such as an ex-football injury. Um, and uh, weight is probably the most common factor. The heavier a patient is, the more likely are, they are to develop arthritis. I try not to tell patients they need knee replacements. My job, I think of it as more like I'm, I'm an educator. I give them the options uh, to help treat their pain. And um, it's their job to make the ultimate decision if they're ready for surgery or not. Because it's certainly not an emergent procedure. It's an elective procedure. And I make sure all my patients understand that before we proceed with surgery. First line of treatment is non-operative treatment, which includes medication, uh, splinting, injections, physical therapy, uh, weight loss, and um, the longer we can keep a patient happier and healthy and pain-free with those activities, the better. Uh, once those fail, uh, that's when we look at surgical treatment options for arthritis. Advancements that we've seen in total knee replacement over the last five years have mostly been materials, um, and particularly the piece of plastic that we put between the metal parts. So there's a metal part on the femur, a metal part on the tibia, and then a piece of plastic that goes in between, and that's what those two articulate on. And that piece of plastic has come a long way. There's different technology available to us now, and um, currently we have a multitude of options. We have computer-assisted options, we have robotic-assisted options, and we also have um, what we call pre-navigation, uh, which is where we get an MRI on a patient or a CT scan on a patient before surgery, and we're able to build blocks, custom built blocks that they're, we're able to use in surgery to put their knee exactly where it should be and hopefully give them a more normal feeling knee after surgery. After surgery patients, once they've rehabbed, I think what they can expect is to be able to return to an active functional lifestyle with less pain obviously than they were before. They want to be able to go for hikes, they want to be able to go for long walks, to play golf, to go skiing and snowboarding and, and I assure them that they'll be able to do all that once appropriately rehabbed. Head and neck pain is an unfortunate